Today we're talking about um, applying properties of isosceles in equilateral triangles. And we've already talked about these two triangles, but to remind us, um, isosceles triangles have two congruent sides and two congruent angles. Equilateral triangles have three congruent sides and three congruent angles. So using those ideas, we want to be able to solve. So we're going to solve for x. So given an isosceles triangle, those two sides, AB and AC, are equal to each other. So we're going to set them equal to each other and use that to solve for x. So I'm going to subtract both sides by 5x. That gets me 4x plus 12 equals negative 4. Then I'm going to subtract 12 to both sides. That gets me 4x equals negative 16. And then divide by 4 so that I can see that x equals negative 4. On letter B, we have an equal outer triangle, so that means that all three sides are equal to one another, but it doesn't matter which ones we set equal to each other, but it would be easiest if we took um, one of the x sides with the 67, so we only have two steps. So 11x plus 1 equals 67, subtract the 1, divide by 11, and that gives me x value of 6. Um, letter C, we have equiangular triangles, so though, or equilateral, so all the angles are 60 degrees. So 3x plus 6 is equal to 60. So then I can set those equal to each other, subtract 6 to get 54, divide by 3 to give me 18 degrees. And then the last one, we have an isosceles triangle where the base angles are equal to each other because the opposite sides are equal. So that means 11x minus 21 is equal to 8x minus 3. And so here I can subtract 8x from both sides. That gives me 3x minus 21 equals negative 3. And then I want to add 21 to both sides. And that gives me 3x equals 18. And then from there, dividing by 3 to both sides gives me x equals 6 degrees. All right. Good luck.